I'm right. honored to honor my good friend, Anthony, um, which, I, which I'm learning now after years of knowing him, he's called A-Dub. So we're gonna give him some, some, some stuff about that. I wanted to say congratulations, man. Um, Well-deserved, um, long time coming. Um, definitely one of the best players I played it with in my career uh, from high school to college. About time, you are so well deserving. I tell people this all the time that you were the best player I got to play with while at Radford. He's one of my best friends. and uh, uh, I'm thrilled that he's receiving this honor. It's well deserved. Uh, and I'm just happy for him and his family. You know, it was really an honor and a pleasure to coach Anthony Walker. And it's certainly the same to uh, uh, welcome him into the Radford Hall of Fame. Congratulations, man. My most vivid memory of you is from a night back in December of 1993. We're playing George Mason at the Dedman Center. They roll in there with Coach Westhead and Fun and Gun, but you were the guy that had the most fun that night. You scored 39 points and set a Dedman Center record for a single game with 16 field goals. It's an honor to speak on um, A-Dubs, you know, on his behalf. Uh, he and I have known each other for I think our parents and grandparents got together. He was two and I was maybe one. So it's one of those longest friendships that I, that I have in my life. Anthony, he's not the fastest, not the strongest, can't jump the highest, but he just might be the best. What do I mean by this? Well, people ask me all the time, if you had to build your all-time Radford University team, I gotta tell you, I always start my backcourt with Anthony Walker. It's not a coincidence that we, we, we've maintained a friendship over all these years because um, the best players, uh, they are committed from a work ethic perspective. They understand that it's not just about I, it's a, it's a we thing. And loyalty and a cause greater than themselves are the difference makers. And that's that embodies who Anthony is, who he's always been. He was one of those guys that uh, Anthony always rose to the top. He was the best player in his high school. You never failed to motivate me. They say that um, good players, you know, can play and do all the things. Great players make other people around them better, and you were a great player. Over the last couple of weeks since Rick reached out to me and asked me to do this, I was just thinking, like, why did Anthony score so many points and was able to pass? And a lot of people probably won't remember this because you used to sweat so much that nobody wanted to be up on you, man. Like, people just like, let me get off of this dude, man. They didn't know what was going on. And I remember Coach Dick Bender, uh, to whom I spoke yesterday, uh, going up there to Hargrave and he came back and he said, I found this kid and uh, I really think he can be what we need. He, he He's talented, but he also has a real feel for the game. Uh, we were playing uh, pickup ball uh, preseason and it seemed like every day a walk used to tell me to post up on the block and you used to throw me a lot for game winners, man. And it used to drive Corey crazy. Not only you were, were you a great player, you were a great leader. One story that comes to mind, Ant, um, I think it was my junior year, senior year, we were at UNC Asheville. I was struggling, um, hesitating, and you grabbed me by the shirt and said a few choice words, but what you really did is you instilled and injected a boost of confidence in me. You know, I said it was a pleasure to, to, to coach Anthony. We had our times, however. <laughs> I remember a specific game, we were at Middle Tennessee State, and I think we got clobbered, and I was very, very upset the next morning. Got him up early. The hotel had a real nice uh, video conference room for us to sit in and watched the tape and I went off. So I think it got pretty hot in there that day. And then all of a sudden uh, I said something like, Anthony, you're a joke. Corey, you're a joke. I'm a joke. This team is a joke. We are a collective joke. At that point, Anthony tried to stifle his laughter, followed by Corey Reed, followed by the whole team like they were in church, trying not to laugh. When I met Anthony, he was actually coaching at a, at a college at the, in, in Austin. That's where we live. And um, I could tell by the respect that he had from, his, from, from, the, from the folks that he was coaching, they were looking at him not as, as more than just a coach. He was, um, he was a mentor, he was a father figure, he was a big brother to a lot of those guys. When Anthony graduated, he came up to me that day with a real serious look on his face. And he said, coach, I just have one question for you after all these years. I said, yes, Anthony, what was it? He said,
Coach, what is a collective joke? God, I think one year I shot a better percentage, maybe our junior year from three, and I let him hear about it all summer. But he always averaged more points and was always a, a better individual player than me. But I appreciate your leadership, um, your hard work, um, becoming the young man that you are, um, being a great father, a great son to your mom, and a good friend to me. So uh, again, Anthony, congrats, man. Welcome to the hall. So Anthony, this is a collective, well done, well-deserved honor for you. I'm proud of you and I love you. Anthony Walker, I'm so proud of you, brother. Uh, I'm happy that you're getting this honor of the Hall of Fame. There's been a lot of terrific players in Radford's history, past and present, and you belong up there uh, right with him. Um, all of the best. And so I love you. Can't wait to see you and congrats. Congratulations, brother. You deserve it. Anthony Walker, congratulations. Well deserved. It's the time that we got to spend at Radford and the years after, man, um, it's, it's valuable to me. So congratulations on going into the Hall of Fame class of 23. Hey, Dub, Big Ant, every other name that people call you, uh, man, I'm honored, 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 and really excited that you're having this moment. Everyone deserves their flowers, and I'm getting, I'm happy to see that you're getting your flowers. Congratulations on your Hall of Fame induction, man. So well-deserved, and I couldn't be more proud of you.